everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude, and I'm here to review the SpongeBob episode Sponge Henge, requested by Andy Kishore and Dear Reese 100. So, Sponge Henge is about when SpongeBob starts to make noise his through his holes because it's very windy, and whenever the wind goes through SpongeBob, it makes sounds through him, which attracts the jellyfish. However, the jellyfish don't get away from Spongebob and Spongebob tries his best to avoid the jellyfish but it just isn't quite working. So in my opinion, um, wow, okay. Spongehenge is a weird episode to review because, um, this is a weird episode. I will definitely I will definitely just say that. This is an episode where I really am not quite sure how to feel about it. It definitely pushes far from the other SpongeBob episodes. It really goes out there. This is not your typical SpongeBob episode. You know, it takes the idea that I really like that this wind is going through SpongeBob's holes and it's making music. You know, I like that idea. But then as the episode kept going and going, I'm just not quite sure how to feel as it's going on. I don't know if I dislike it or like it. Um, I just kind of feel very conflicted watching this episode the entire time. This episode is not for everyone and I could definitely understand why. There could be some that will appreciate this episode because it tried to go different from most of your SpongeBob episodes. Some are gonna really enjoy SpongeHenge for that reason. But then there's gonna be some people that downright hate this episode because it gets boring and it just really isn't all that interesting in the storyline. There were a few funny moments. The episode doesn't really focus all that much with the humor, but the few moments that happened in this episode I did think were funny. Like the very opening scene with the fishes left over flying away after when him and the wife leave from the diner. It was a moment where Mr. Krabs uses a fishing pole and hooks Spongebob all the way up to the Krusty Krab. Although I do have to say one thing about this episode I could say I didn't like is that I didn't like how Spongebob says how he has never been tardy once when obviously in a few other episodes we've seen him being late to the Krusty Krab. So you know that was just something I did have to point out. That was like one continuity issue this episode had. But the main focus on this episode is how you know, Spongebob is trying his best to avoid these jellyfishes. And then you see him go into the cave. That's when he has the beard. He makes these big Spongebob statues. And another thing that was weird, I'm sure a lot of you caught, Spongebob said he was going to make them in different sizes. But the Spongebob statues look the same size. Oh, man. But then you get to the ending of Spongehenge. Holy shit! The ending of this episode, it was pretty fucked up. Ending of Sponge Henge didn't have your usual happy ending that you get in actually pretty much all of the SpongeBob episodes. You know, they usually end on a happy note. No, this episode ended in a pretty messed up way. An ending I did not see coming. An ending that made me go, oh my god, I can't believe the writers actually went there. And I actually have two credit them for that. It really is so hard to talk about how I really feel about this episode. So Spongehenge, I think I'll give it a 6 out of 10. It's an episode I could say I appreciate, oh, but there were things about the episode that made me kind of go, what am I watching? Oh, what were the writers trying to do here? And the fact that I don't even know how to feel about this episode in general, huge credit to the writers for that. Comment down below, let me know what you think of Sponge Hands. Did you hate the episode? Did you enjoy the episode? Or are you like me where you just don't know exactly how to 
feel about it. It says 22 Tiger Dude, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.